Google's quantum AI scanned 3i Atlas images, and the results are nothing short of terrifying. Something is hurtling through our solar system, and NASA is quietly panicking. The object, 3i slash ATLAS, was first dismissed as a comet, but its strange signals and the quadrupling metal anomalies around it told a different story. To put it mildly, this was no natural phenomenon. When human analysis failed, the data was given to a next-generation AI for an unbiased opinion. The AI didn't just offer an opinion, it offered a terrifying certainty. It decoded the object's secrets, revealing the dark side of what it truly is and the potential impact it could have on the Red Planet. The Ship in the Dark The story of 3 I slash ATL AS began not with a dramatic flash, but with a quiet and deeply puzzling observation that would soon challenge everything we thought we understood about the cosmos. You see, many people are fascinated by the vastness of space, but the most shocking fact is that even our own solar system holds secrets we're only just beginning to uncover. In late 2019, a network of automated telescopes in Hawaii, designed to scan the night sky for asteroids that might pose a threat to Earth, picked up something new. This happens all the time, but this object was different. It was immediately flagged for its unusual characteristics, and given the designation 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, the I in its name was the most important part. It stood for interstellar, marking it as only the third object ever confirmed to have come from the space between the stars. One the first, Oumuamua, had baffled scientists with its strange cigar-like shape and its mysterious acceleration. The second, Borisov, was more familiar, behaving much like the comets from our own system. But 3i slash ATLAS, to put it mildly, was a complete enigma. What many overlooked in the initial frenzy was its trajectory. It was moving at a blistering speed of over 100,000 miles per hour, so fast that it was clearly not captured by our sun's gravity. It was a tourist, just passing through. However, its path was just slightly off. It showed tiny, almost imperceptible changes in direction that the gravitational pull of the Sun, Jupiter, or any other planet simply could not explain. With comets, this phenomenon is often caused by outgassing, where frozen gases on the surface are heated by the Sun and erupt like tiny thrusters, pushing the comet slightly off course. But when the world's most powerful telescopes, including the Hubble, were pointed at 3i slash a t l AS. They found none of the expected evidence. There was no tail, no coma of gas and dust, no water vapor, nothing. It was accelerating and maneuvering on its own, as if guided by an unseen hand. The mystery deepened when observatories began analyzing the light reflecting from its surface. There were strange flashes, almost like sunlight glinting off a polished metallic hull. The most shocking fact is that the light spectrum analysis revealed spikes of elements like processed titanium and other dense metals, materials you wouldn't expect to find on a random piece of space rock. These metallic signatures weren't just present, they were multiplying. With each new observation, the cloud of metallic particles around the object seemed to quadruple in density. It was as if 3i slash ATLAS was actively shedding a metallic screen or was surrounded by a swarm of smaller metallic objects. This behavior was unlike anything ever recorded. The global scientific community was at a loss. The data defied every known model. Was it some new kind of celestial body? Or was it something far more profound? Faced with a puzzle that grew more complex by the day, a select team at NASA made an unprecedented decision. They decided to feed every last bit of data, every trajectory plot, every spectral reading, every thermal image into a top secret artificial intelligence system. This wasn't just a powerful computer. It was a deep learning network built to identify patterns that human analysts with their inherent biases would never see. The hope was that the AI could find a natural explanation, no matter how exotic. What they received instead was an answer that sent a current of fear and awe through the agency. The AI's primary conclusion was that the object was, with near absolute certainty, not natural, the dark revelation. When the scientists fed the torrent of data into the AI, they were prepared to wait days, perhaps even weeks, 
for a coherent answer. The thing nobody tells you about these advanced analytical systems is that they don't think like we do. They don't follow linear paths. They perceive connections across billions of data points simultaneously, a form of computational synesthesia. The AI returned its primary analysis in just under four hours. The first line of its report, displayed in stark white text on the main screen, was a single chilling sentence. Probability of natural origin, 0.001%. A heavy, profound silence filled the control room, the kind that feels like a physical weight. The AI had reached this conclusion by cross-referencing the behavior of three I slash ATLAS against every known celestial object and event in its exhaustive database. Every comet, asteroid, stellar fragment, and cosmic anomaly ever recorded. It had found no precedent. The object lacked the outgassing coma of a comet. Its thermal signature was impossibly regulated. And most damningly, it was making minute, non-ballistic course corrections. With a confidence level of over 99%, the machine concluded that the object was artificial. It was a construct, a vessel, a ship. This bombshell, which single-handedly answered humanity's oldest question, was only the beginning. The AI then turned its massive intellect to the bizarre metal anomalies that had been quadrupling in density and puzzling astronomers. The machine's analysis showed these were not random debris from a deteriorating hull. Instead, it described a coherent cloud of billions of microscopic paper-thin shards, each one perfectly uniform. The composition of these shards was even more stunning. The AI identified them as a hyperdense titanium-osmium alloy, a combination of elements that, in theory, would create a material of incredible strength, lightness, and resistance to extreme temperatures and radiation. We have theoretical models for such materials, but lack the energy or fabrication technology to create them. The truly mind-bending part was the AI's theory about their purpose. These shards were not wreckage. The AI designated them as a form of ablative armor, a dynamic self-replicating defensive screen designed to vaporize on impact with interstellar dust and radiation, protecting the main body of the ship. The anomalies were quadrupling because the ship was actively reinforcing this shield, thickening its skin, as if preparing for entry into a more hostile, contested environment. Then the AI addressed what it ominously labeled the forward energy null. This wasn't a reference to the side facing away from the sun. It described a specific circular area on the vessel's prow that absorbed 100% of all light and energy directed at it. It was a patch of perfect, absolute blackness, a hole in space that registered to every sensor as being colder than the cosmic void around it. This was a direct and flagrant violation of the laws of thermodynamics. A system cannot be colder than absolute zero. The AI theorized that this was not a material but a stable energy field, a technology designed for either complete stealth or, more disturbingly, as a weapon. Its final hypothesis on the matter was the most paradigm-shattering. The dark side was the source of the ship's strange propulsion. It wasn't pushing the vessel from behind, it was bending space-time in front of it, creating a gravity well that the ship perpetually fell into, pulling the universe around its hull. But the final section of the AI's report was what was immediately classified under the highest national security protocols. It had analyzed faint repeating energy pulses emanating from the ship that human observers had dismissed as simple background noise, statistical ghosts in the machine. The AI, however, recognized a deeply embedded structure. Filtering out the cosmic radiation, it discovered a highly complex repeating pattern encoded using fractal modulation. It was not a language, a greeting, or a beacon. After analyzing its content for a mere seven minutes, the AI concluded it was a constant real-time stream of targeting data. The ship was actively scanning, mapping, and aiming and its primary target was not Earth. The AI ran a final projection of the ship's trajectory, its progress displayed as a brilliant blue line across a map of the solar system. Factoring in the tiny deliberate course corrections the ship was making, the probability cone for its final destination began to narrow with terrifying speed. It collapsed not on a random point in space, not on Jupiter or the asteroid belt, and not on us. 
With unerring mathematical certainty, the line terminated on a direct intercept course with the orbital path of Mars. The silence in the room returned, heavier than before, burdened now by a new, more terrifying question. What in the hell was on Mars? The ship wasn't just visiting, it was on a mission, and NASA now had a front row seat to a potential interplanetary event. A final destination, the AI's conclusion that 3I-ATLAS was a ship on a collision course with Mars, shifted the mission from scientific observation to urgent threat assessment. The system, designated Kronos, didn't just calculate a trajectory. It began running simulations on intent. Given its reinforced shielding, impossibly high velocity, and lack of any deceleration burns, the ship's mission profile was chillingly consistent with a kinetic strike. To put it mildly, this object was designed to hit something and hit it with cataclysmic force. The immediate question was an exercise in cosmic absurdity. Why? Why would a highly advanced craft, a marvel of interstellar engineering, travel across the stars for potentially millions of years just to become the universe's most sophisticated cannonball? The agency scrambled, diverting every available asset. High priority time on the Hubble and Webb telescopes was seized to paint a clearer picture. The images that returned were breathtaking and terrifying. They confirmed the AI's physical analysis. The object was roughly 2,000 feet long, shaped like a sleek obsidian arrowhead, and showed no signs of conventional propulsion. It seemed to defy physics, pulled forward by an unseen force. And there it was, unmistakable on every wavelength, the dark side, a patch of utter blackness on its forward tip that seemed to swallow the light of the stars behind it. It wasn't a shadow or a material. It was a perfect void, a patch of absolute nothing clinging to the hull of an alien vessel. This is where the story pivots from the mysterious to the deeply unsettling. The detail scrubbed from public logs is that NASA's assets on and around Mars began to register sympathetic phenomena. The Perseverance rover, diligently drilling in Jezero Crater, reported a series of unusual rhythmic seismic vibrations and magnetic field fluctuations originating from deep within the planet's mantle. Miles above, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected faint but distinct thermal spikes in the exact same region, as if something deep within the planet was powering up. A slow planetary heartbeat responding to the approaching ship. Could there be something dormant on Mars? An ancient piece of technology? A hidden outpost? Or a beacon that 3I-ATLAS was coming to activate? Or as a chilling counter-narrative began to form in the agency's most classified working groups. Was it coming to silence it forever? The dark side of the ship, Kronos now proposed with a 78% probability, was not merely a weapon to penetrate the Martian crust. The model suggested something far stranger, a localized space-time distortion. The kinetic impact wasn't the weapon, it was the trigger. The theory was, that the impact would create a specific resonant frequency, allowing this void to phase through the planet's crust and deliver its true payload directly into the subterranean source of the signals. The mission wasn't an impact, it was cosmic surgery. With this terrifying new framework, the theories fractured into even wilder possibilities. One faction, led by a renegade exobiologist, argued that Mars was not a dead world, but a prison that the entity buried beneath its surface was an ancient malevolent force, and 3I-ATLAS was the final failsafe, a warden arriving to deliver a sentence millions of years in the making. The seismic activity wasn't a power-up, it was the prisoner rattling its cage. Another theory, even more fringe, suggested the opposite, that the subterranean source was a genesis engine, a terraforming device capable of reigniting Mars's core. 3I-ATLAS, in this scenario, was a rival power seeking to prevent the rebirth of a world, a preemptive strike in a war of creation itself. The information was deemed far too explosive for public knowledge. How could they possibly explain that an alien ship was en route to strike a neighboring planet, potentially awakening an ancient god, unleashing a cosmic horror? or destroying a chance at a second Earth. The implications were world-shattering. If any of it were true, 
Our entire history of the solar system was a lie, a sanitized version of a much older, more violent story. And if this ship was coming to destroy its target, were we about to witness the final shot in an ancient interstellar war? While the world went about its daily life, NASA was bracing for impact, a silent global conspiracy of scientists turning every satellite, rover, and deep space telescope toward the red planet. They waited for a ship from the stars to complete its dark and silent mission, knowing the fate of our cosmic backyard hung in the balance. The date of its arrival was fast approaching, and absolutely no one knew what would happen when it got there. Was 3i slash ATLAS a weapon, a messenger, or just a cosmic ghost? The answer might be buried on Mars, waiting. Let us know your theory in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.